Why is the sky color blue? This is one of the world's most asked questions. In this video, let us go through some fascinating answers to questions like these. Why is the sky color blue? Why are the sunrise and sunset skies in different color? What colors are the other planet skies? Welcome to Alienistic presented by me Geeta. For more of these amazing factual videos and interesting top 10s, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that these fun facts are delivered straight to your fingertips. So, why is the sky color blue? Well, not all skies are blue in color. For every planet, this color varies as the atmosphere changes, which is very unique to each planet. To put it in really simple words, atmosphere is that layer of several gases that surround a planet. It stays intact as the planet's gravity holds it all together, while more than 91% of Earth's atmosphere is nitrogen and oxygen. Every planet either has its own atmosphere or has none. For example, Mercury has no atmosphere at all. So surprisingly, though Mercury is the closest planet to Sun, with Sun appearing three times as big as it appears for us on Earth, the sky is actually black. This is because if there is no atmosphere, sunlight cannot be scattered. That is why the days on Mercury are black, while nights are pitch black with even clearer stars and super bright Earth, Venus and our Moon. So in the daytime, Mercury sees the Sun like we see our Moon during the night. Venus is a different story. Surface is almost buried in layers and layers of clouds, so neither Sun nor stars or planets are visible. Recent studies show that the sky is kind of orange. Earth. Let's get back to this one. Stick around. By the end, you will also understand why it is dark in space, though sun shines bright. Mars. Now, Mars is opposite of Earth. Here, sunset skies are blue and daytimes are pinkish orange or pinkish red. This is mainly because of the abundance of iron oxide and rust particles from soil being blown by winds onto the very thin atmosphere of Mars. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are all gas giants, meaning you cannot land on them since there is nothing to stand on. They are just giant gas balls. So depending on where you are on those planets, like it's possible, and the kind of gases that the surface is covered in, the sky color varies. Scientists believe that usually this should be in the shades of blue or orange. And if you're wondering about moon, it has no atmosphere. so. No colorful sky, just black. Now, let's discuss about what happens on our planet in a little more detail. Now, sunlight is white, but just as white light that passes through prism ends up in multiple colors like a rainbow, sunlight too splits up into these multiple colors, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red, fondly known as the WIBGR spectrum. As I mentioned earlier, Earth's atmosphere is majorly nitrogen and oxygen. When sun's white light reaches Earth's atmosphere, its colors or let's say wavelengths collide with these particles of nitrogen and oxygen. Blue light, which has a shorter wavelength, is scattered a lot more compared to red, which has longer wavelength. Confused? Let me put it this way. Our atmosphere lets other colors with longer wavelengths easily pass on to the ground, but colors with shortest wavelengths, blue and violet, travel short and so get scattered a lot more. As this blue light gets scattered all over the place, we end up seeing just blue by when all the remaining colors would have already landed on the ground. Here is where it gets a little more complicated. Actually, violet is the color that has the shortest wavelength amongst the WIBGR color spectrum. Then why isn't our sky violet? Well, this is such a complicated question that even science has many many reasons and several of them are debatable. I most certainly will not go through them all but will share two popular theories right here and right now. Number 1. The amount of sunlight hitting our atmosphere mostly has more of blue and less of violet and hence the blue domination. Blue is much more appealing to our retinas and eyes than violet, so our eyes see more of blue. Now you must be thinking about the sky colors during sunrise and sunset. I am coming right to that point. 
During sunrise and sunset, sun is very close to our horizon, meaning the sunlight has to pass through a lot of atmosphere. So the reds and oranges reach our eyes as they travel straight, while blues and violets are still being scattered by the nitrogen and oxygen. Confused? Let me help you there. You have a smartphone, don't you? How much of light does it take to project flashlight onto the floor downwards? Not much, so light easily reaches. Reds and oranges having longer wavelengths easily reach ground during daytime while blue is still stuck up there and hence the sky is blue. Now, how much does it take to project a flashlight straight towards the end of a dark room? A lot. So reds and oranges that have the longest wavelengths make it trying to reach the surface while blues and violets are still struggling to even cross the atmosphere during sunrise and sunsets. So, by now you should also understand why the space is black though it is lit up by a star as powerful as our sun. Simple, no atmosphere, no sunlight scattering. There, now you know how to answer when a 4 year old asks you this world's most asked question. Why is sky blue? Not just that, now you can also tell that kid what color skies of the other planets are. Did you like this video? If so, please do subscribe and ring that bell right there. What questions would you like answered? Comment and I might just be able to bring them for you right here on Indian Aesthetic. Stick around for more fun videos on Indian Aesthetic. Check out more on screen and subscribe using the circle right there. Be informed and stay factual. Indian Aesthetic helps you do just that by delivering these amazing facts to your fingertips. Do not forget to subscribe.